Hello, I'm Professor Murray Gans, and I would like to welcome you to the non-majors biology lab here at Eastfield College in Mesquite, Texas. What we're going to do today is show you how to use the light microscope. That way you'll know exactly what to do before you even come to lab. So what do you say? Let's get started. When you need a microscope for a lab, they're stored in this cabinet. Grab the microscope by the handle on the arm, and support it with your other hand under the base. Hold it close to your body and take it to your table. Before we talk about the parts of the microscope, let's talk about what the microscope is going to do. The microscope uses a series of lenses to magnify an object. Now this hand lens will magnify up to 20 or 30 times. We want the microscope to magnify up to 400 times for us. To do that, it's going to use more than one lens, a series of lenses. Let's take a look. At the top of the microscope are the eyepieces or oculars. These magnify our specimen 10 times. The second set of lenses are down here. These are the objective lenses. The short one is the 4X lens. The next one is the 10X lens, or medium power. And the next one is the 40X lens, or high power. They're mounted on the revolving nose piece, which lets you change them easily. There are three different adjustments for the light on this microscope. You have the power switch here, which turns the light on. We also have a ring mounted under here, which is called the diaphragm. By moving the ring of the diaphragm, I can control the amount of light that reaches the specimen. I can control it all the way from very bright to very dim. The third light adjustment on the microscope is right here. Just a regular old dimmer switch. This part of the microscope is called the stage and on it is a mechanical stage. This is what's going to hold the slide and let us move it around. To put a slide on the microscope, we simply pull this alarm back, slide the slide into the angle and let go of the arm. We're going to move the slide around by using these two knobs. This knob moves the slide up and down. This knob moves the slide left and right. To focus the image in our microscope, there are two focusing knobs. The one on the outside is called the coarse focus knob. The one on the inside is called the fine focus knob. You'll notice that when I move the coarse focus knob, the stage moves a lot. When I turn the fine focus knob, it moves in very small increments. The eyepieces are adjustable. So when you look through the microscope, you want to adjust them so that they only form a single image. Before you use your microscope, you want to clean all the lenses. So we're going to use a little bit of lens paper. So we'll just take one sheet of this, tear it out of the booklet, and you're going to wad it up. You're going to use that sheet to clean each of the eye pieces, and you also want to clean each of the objective lenses. Just wipe them down a little bit. I also like to go ahead and clean the top of the diaphragm. In biology, we often mount things in water. We use a technique called a wet mount slide. So here's my microscope slide. And for a specimen, I've cut a piece of paper out uh, with the printed word slide on it. So I'm just going to use my forceps and put that on my slide. We're going to use a little bit of water. We're going to add a drop of water to our specimen, whatever it is. Then I'm going to use some cover slips. Now you want to use only one cover slip. They're very, very thin. So there's your cover slip. Now the trick to making good slide is to not have air bubbles. So if you'll take your cover slip and move it toward the water, then when the water spreads out like that, just drop the cover slip. And that way you get a nice slide with very, very few air bubbles. When we get ready to focus the image on the microscope, we're going to start with low power. We start with the low power objective because it has the largest field of view. And what that means is we're going to see more, which means you can find what you're looking for. It's really important, especially if it's a very small specimen. All right, so first thing we're going to do with this on low power is we're going to bring the stage all the way up. It'll stop. Then I'm going to look through the eyepieces and I'm going to turn the coarse adjustment knob away from me until I get my image into focus. Then I'm going to use the fine adjustment knob to really get that sharp focus. Now it's, it's a good point now to go ahead and use your diaphragm to adjust the light. Sometimes turning the light down just a little bit will let you see a lot more details. At this point what we want to do is we want to center the specimen and then go to medium power. To go to medium power, I'm simply going to click the medium power lens into place. All right, so with medium power, I'm going to look through the eyepiece. I'm going to use my coarse adjustment a little bit and my fine focus again. And again, don't forget, use your diaphragm to get those good details. And now I'm going to use the mechanical stage and I'm going to center again. At this point, I'm ready to go to high power. Now the, the focal length, the distance between the lens and the slide is very, very short with high power. In fact, you're going to think that you're going to hit the slide. So you're going to watch from the side 
and it should click right into place. If you focused on low power and medium power, the high power objective should actually uh, clear the slide just fine. Look through here. I'm going to use probably just my fine focus to get a nice image. I'm going to look around a little bit. And then don't forget again, adjust your light. Play with the dimmer, play with the diaphragm to get the image that you want to see. You'll notice I keep saying focus and center. It's important that you center the specimen before you increase the magnification. Imagine I'm the specimen. On low power, you might see this much of me. But on high power, you'll see an area about the size of my shirt button. Now, if I'm like this and we're a little bit off center, when you go into high power, you might actually be focusing right there, in which case you'll see absolutely nothing. When you're through with your microscope, you want to put it away properly. First of all, don't forget to take off your slide. The cover slip is disposable. Your instructor will tell you where to put that. The slide should be washed and returned to the slide box. Turn the light off on the scope. Unplug the scope. And now you're going to wrap the cord up. Cover your scope again with a microscope cover. And you're going to carry it back to the cabinet. Remember, grab by the arm, so forth from the base. Be aware, if the light's been on, the base may be a little bit warm, so you can cup your hands so you don't get burned. Let's review what you should have learned from this video. You should know the parts of the microscope. You should know how to carry the microscope, how to set it up, how to make a wet mount slide, and how to get that image in focus. Remember, you always want to go from low power to medium power to high power. You should also know the magnification of all of the lenses, the eyepiece, and all three of the objectives. The nice thing about videos like this is, if you miss something, just watch it again. The nice thing about videos like this is, if you miss something, just watch it again. To be successful in college, it's important to come to class prepared. Be sure and read the chapter before you come to lecture, and definitely read the lab procedure before you come to lab. It'll make all the difference in how much you get out of your classes. For now, this is Professor Murray Gans at Eastfield College in the Biology Lab. See you next time.